What's going on, family? This your boy, Flaw700, half of the podcast, brothers. Before we get into this week's episode, I'd like to take this time to let you know where you can find our material at. Thepodcastbrothers.com. From there, you can subscribe to iTunes. iTunes is very important. Make sure after you listen to our episodes, leave us a review. That's the most important part. Share it with your friends and family. Or if you're an Android user, you can just listen to the episodes straight from the podcastbrothers.com website. You can download the episodes, whatever you want to do. To contact us directly, hit us up at my bro and me podcast at gmail.com. And um, now on to this week's episode. We're happy and we're singing and we're colored. Give me a high five. Yo, this your boy Flaw 700. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Fresco. And we are the Podcast Brothers, and this is episode 19. Before we get into this week's episode, let me refresh y'all memory on where y'all can find us at, thepodcastbrothers.com. I can't stress to y'all enough how important iTunes is. You can definitely get the iTunes through that website. The podcast brothers dot com, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, if they ain't know by now, they ain't been fucking listening, man. Well, it's like that. It's like watching the Super Bowl, right? How many beer commercials are you gonna see? Right? Just like, well, I'm gonna keep plugging that website every time we come on. It's all different beers though. No, it, it be Bud Light every time. It be Coors too. Bud and Coors. Sometimes, That's it. sometimes Corona, because you know they got a lot of beach ads. That's true. We just played into my point. Or how many Dorito commercials? You know what I'm saying? But it'd be like, yo. That's like, one brand, though. Yeah. If you watch the Super Bowl, <laughs> it's like a Dorito commercial every commercial break. I'm telling you. A Dorito commercial. Like, they continue to plug. And if one person takes the bait. because Doritos got bread to pay for those 30-second ads. Them Super Bowl ads, 30-second ads, be like half a million dollars. 30 seconds of the Super Bowl. That's a fact. You got If you got three commercials running during the Super Bowl, you got bread. That's a fact. And it'd be like only two more people, like... Does that make you want to buy Doritos, though? No. Like, 9 o'clock at night, do you nah. like, damn it, let me go to the store and get some Doritos. Nah, so, I'm, ne- I'm never I'm never really swayed by the shit that they try to force you to buy, especially Doritos. It's like, my nigga, like, ain't no way, it's, there's no way you can advertise them to make me want them now. Like, they've been out forever. Like, just stop. Yeah. With the, I, if I go to the store and I see Doritos, I'll buy them if they're there, but I don't just pop up during the day like, ah, Doritos is on my mind. Yeah, that's something to think about. Something Fuck to talk Doritos about. Now. <laughs> that's something to think about or, or or talk about at a later date. Do any of these Super Bowl commercials or commercials in general like just make you want to get up and go buy some chips product place or some beer? Hey man, I definitely want to get into some podcast shout outs. Who? 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 On my first list. The first list is new podcasts. I didn't say podcasts. It's, Thank you. New podcast. Thank you for that for that grammar that correction. I checked out this week. My ears heard them, and I was like, yo, these people are pretty good. Let me introduce them to the family. First off, I want to give a shout-out to Midnight Convos. Midnight. She's from Jersey. Right. You can find Midnight Convos on SoundCloud and iTunes. That's what's up. Shout-out to Midnight Convos. Two shots and a brew. I think you checked them out, yeah, too, right? Yeah, I was right? listening to them, yeah. I, I like them. Yo, is the I don't I, I don't I didn't catch his name, but he mad funny. The dude with the deep voice, that's the way he <laughs> say shit. He got this voice deep as hell, and he and he speaks very proper. It's funny as yeah, hell. Yeah, I'm talk. I'm definitely not good with names, so I'm only shouting out. I don't think he said it. I, well, I didn't hear it. He said yeah. it, but shout out to uh, two shots, two shots in a brew, right? Two shots in a brew. Two shots in a brewski. Something to brag about. I checked them out. Pretty good. Um, shout out to something to brag about. Three dope chicks. Tree. Shout out not to one, three, two, but three dope chicks. The episode that they had was about how to fix your credit. They had a guest on. Oh, word? And, oh, yeah, she was definitely give me the, inspiring give me, the gems. me. Yeah. It was gems on there, and I let them know they dropped gems. Give me gems. the fucking gems. Yeah, so, yeah, check them out. Three dope chicks. iTunes, SoundCloud. You can find those on iTunes and SoundCloud. Now, we just going to get back to the, um, basically, the usual suspects. The John Effect Podcast. Shout out. I knew he wasn't going to retire. He dropped his new episode last week. He was talking shit. He didn't know damn well he was going to retire. But I knew it. Stop lying to people. I knew it. Hey, look, John, next time you're going through some shit in life, man, you live in Virginia, right? I think you live in Virginia Beach or some shit. Like, just take a walk on the beach, man, and smoke a blunt. I promise you, your mind will be clear after you finish. And sip a Corona. Yeah. Yo. Why do you say Corona like that? Ain't that the way they they say it? A Corona. Who? Who? 
Don't you them. say it? You say, who them. was them? Them you racist as hell. I, I don't want to be racist because I don't want to say they're. Oh, who then? Because the it Mexicans, ain't you, man. <laughs> Damn it, the Mexicans, man, Spanish people, Coronas. Hey, uh, that was this nigga racist as fuck. I ain't racist at all. It's, it's not cool. at all. The John Effect Podcast. Shout out to the podcast queens. That was racist, yo. That was not I can't racist. get past that shit. Mexican Damn. street Coronas. It's all white people would have said you eat chicken just like them. What the fuck you mean them? Who was them? It's only, if they would have said that to a white friend with a black person in the room and a black person heard that. It's like, and you just would have let me say Corona without asking me why. I you said shouldn't it. have said I just that shit. To, I just wanted to say it. Should have said that shit, man. I love my Mexican people. Because if you go to the store and ask for Coronas, you're not going to fucking I am. say it like that. I am. You're not. First of all, I you am. don't even drink beer. I, but if I go to the store, I'm <laughs> going to say Coronas. Nah, I'm going to say man. it. I hope they kick you the fuck out and don't Shh. give you no beer. The podcast queens. The Real and Raw Podcast. Real Shout out to them podcast, ladies. Podcast, the Queen. Officially Street Podcast. Shout out to them. To Kenya Talks Podcast. We got the Jazz, the Critical Dump, Baby Boy Podcast. Whole spot. Good, Good Morning Beautiful Podcast. I know I'm leaving some out. My bad. My fault. No. I'll get you next week. But <laughs> shout out to the podcast family, man. Um, shout sus- out to y'all. Subscribe to them. On iTunes, leave a review. Check them out on SoundCloud. Whatever you want to do. SoundCloud's cool, but once again, we trying to do iTunes numbers, man. We trying to do iTunes numbers like Drake Views did. You know what I'm saying? They be lying. Who? I think I think Drake, like every other week, they come up with an article on how Drake broke a record. Drake sold this many records. Drake broke that record. But there's no actual facts in none of this. I think, they, I think it's all tallied up through, streamings, through streams now. They count the amount of sh- times your album has been streamed instead of Actual record Now, sales. maybe I'm wrong, but they said his album streamed over a billion times. Yeah. But then I think the cash, you know, Forbes list came out, and they said he made $60 million this year or something like that. It's or a lot he, of money. It's a lot of money, but when you talk about my song, my album streamed billions of times, and you don't have a hundred millions of dollars, it's like, I don't know. That's just how I look at I mean, it. 60, like the money. 60, but he made $60 million this year. Yeah, but he... But I don't say how much he's been raking in. That's just through... That form of media that he raked in, no, 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 sixty million total. You right, but we don't know what he made in last year or whatever. I know, but just or his you, total net worth. When you say billions, I'm just thinking of like we should, like you should bring I'm, in more money than that. That's just me. I don't know because it's different. Because it ain't like a, a billion people went out and brought the album. That's different. If a billion people brought this shit, that's something different. But it's just streams. Yo, I had this crazy story. Crazy story. Matter of fact, before I get into my crazy story, man, we got two guests in the building. I definitely want to um, introduce them. This ain't no them. fucking guest. I want to introduce them both just in case they want to chime in on my story and, let them, and, and tell me if I'm bugging or not. Probably. But, well, so me telling you you bugging ain't good enough? You don't believe me? I don't. Uh, well, I'm going to tell you if you are, you're not anyway. You want to introduce yourself? Because I'm not saying your name. <laughs> Why not? Because you said something about Don it's, Mac. It's my name, though. That's what you I want. What is your name? You could have just called him what you know him as. You have to just put him all the way out there like I thought, that. What the I thought fuck, he man? wanted to be called that Don Mac. Man, man. he either w- called me Raiden. See, that's what I mean. That's what I wanted he to be introduced Raiden, as. Then he said, introduce me as. Well, my real you shouldn't name. shouldn't have gave him a fucking option. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just said his fucking name. Yeah, you could have just Donovan said Donovan. Donovan McLeese. Okay, Easy. that's cool. Or AKA the Don Macalicious, Don Juan. Don See Donna, I mean? Don Holla, <laughs> a.k.a. Mac the Don, B.k.a. Don Zaddy. This nigga said B.k.a. like a little high school girl writing on a notebook. <laughs> a.k.a. also known as, B-K-A. B.k.a. better known as. Okay, and we got another guest in the building. You want to introduce yourself, my brother? What's up, man? Everybody, this is uh, Laquan. That's a, little, that's, that's a young man over there with a little bit more sense. How he got to be friends with Donovan, I don't fucking know. Uh, he ain't got that much sense, obviously. Yo, you might be right. That's a good point. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> that is a good he point. He might be faking like the that. funk, huh? He's sitting there with this nice clean he's suit the, on. He's the opposite, he, so he keeps me sensible. Wolf and sheep clothing, goddamn. Yo, check out my story though, right? I'm doing Uber over the weekend. Um, so I, I go out to PA. I go out to where the Temple College is. Yeah. And I pick up this white kid, right? He gets in the back uh, seat, and are we driving? And I'm not familiar with this area of Pennsylvania, of Philly, actually. I don't really know. F- in, I think it was in North Philly. I think Temple in North see, Philly. See, he didn't even know. He named it something else. What did he say? I forgot. It wasn't that important. That's not important. But he's getting to it. And um, so once, if you drive Uber, you know, sometimes 
the conversation or the 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 presence of your writer can be seen can seem cold. Some people jump in, they talk to you. Some people don't. But when I asked him what part of Philly this was in, it sparked a conversation between us. And he says, "Yo, basketball season's coming back." Automatically, I'm thinking to myself, "This guy's racist." What the fuck? Why you want to talk basketball with me? Right? <laughs> because I'm black. But listen, but listen, I said that. To, I said it to myself in my head. This guy's racist, right? Reach him. No, started. no. Listen, mm-hmm. li- that's that's why I wanted to bring these two in because mm-hmm. you said I'm reaching. reaching. Wait a minute. So we talking basketball. Hold on, before you finish though, but you do like basketball, right? How did he know that? It's a general Don question. Macalicious. How did he know that? I don't know. That's a general because question. Because I'm black. He didn't say because I'm black. He would have said, "Hey, is your favorite food chicken?" <laughs> that has been racist. <laughs> chicken and what about you it? Know. But he just he asked said you. Cool he He's... said basketball season's coming back. Wait a minute. How do you know I like basketball? How, first of all, he didn't ask you anything. He just said that basketball season's coming back. Okay, let me get to my point as right, to why I think I'm make right. No fucking sense it, so far. it makes ahead, all okay. the sense. So we I'm start right. talking basketball. And um, he asked me what my squad was. I asked him what his squad was, and he said the Sixers. I'm like, yo, y'all got luck. No, I said y'all luck is like like bad they luck, basically. Suck. No, yeah. basically got bad luck. And he was just like, you know, yeah, it's the process. I was like, nah, I'm talking about Ben Simmons with the injury. I'm mm-hmm. thinking he yeah. going. I'm thinking he don't want to come back this year because if he comes back after three months, he's not going to get the rookie of the year. So his agent was like. Sit out for the whole year. Because y'all got Embiid came back. I'm like, y'all just got bad luck, man. And he just like, oh, I thought you meant that um, Ben Simmons didn't want to play. Because I see him at Temple um, Temple parties all the time. I'm like, pro athletes still go to college parties? And we got to the conversation where I'm trying to be nice about it. Once again, he's a white guy. I'm trying to be nice about the conversation. I'm like, listen, he need to stay away from these drunk women. White dude in the mm-hmm. back said, nah. Mm-hmm. Black players need to stay away from white drunken women. I said, you're right. Yeah. You're right. So when you go, so basically, I don't know why it threw me left to hear that pro athletes, now grown men, are still going to these colleges. But, but he just got out of college last year. He's only like 19, 20. Yeah, he, he's, he's not that kid. old. He's still a kid. He's just, he's just, he's just hanging around yeah. with his age group. He, age group. He's a rookie. He, I, he's been out of college. I got you. Not even a year. But we got to be smart. But he got to be smart. I don't. I think if he wasn't an NBA player, him. Going to the college be party, it, it'd be fine. Right. Yeah. He's a target. But he's going to go to a party somewhere anyway. But we all know who they're looking for. Drunken white women. That's, go through too they're much looking bullshit, for drunken white women. And we got into talking about how, you know, basically black players need to stay away from these drunken white women because there's no good for them. And we got into the whole Steph Curry and how these players are, you know, What's coached Curry by their dads. No, we were just talking about different things. And he was talking about um, how Steph Curry's dad, this is something I didn't know. Steph Curry's dad, every time he went to the practices and the coaches tried to put Steph, Steph Curry at another position, he pulled him out. He said, my son is a point guard and point guard only. I don't care how tall he gets. He said, my son is a point guard. What, is, in the NBA? No, 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 no. As no, he was growing no. up. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All these little leagues up. coming up. Right. He said his pops was there to tell him. If it ain't point guard, it ain't nothing. Who talked? The white dude told you that? Yeah, the white guy was telling me this. He was dropping them. Hey, he was dropping them gems. He knew what he was talking about. So I was telling him about how my son used to play little baseball, and the coaches didn't care. They put you like my son's best position was first first base, and mm -hmm. he killed it there. But this coach wanted my son to play uh, uh, shortstop, second base, third base, and it kind of killed him. Mm -hmm. So that's how we Mm -hmm. got the comparison. He said, well, now you're talking my favorite sport, baseball. I said, dang, Uh, that's how uh, I know you're racist. (laughs) Because if baseball is your sport, why didn't you bring it up? Am I wrong? Am I reaching still? Yeah, because you, I mean, you don't know shit about baseball. Yeah, but I do still kind of make know. sense, though. <laughs> baseball was his thing. But you don't know shit about baseball. He didn't he know, know that. that. He was still right. He, <laughs> but he, was, right, but he, he was still right. It was safe to assume that if I talk basketball or football with this, with this brother, guy, it's more of a safer topic. He's going to understand right. what I'm saying. Why? Because I'm black. Well, you're shit. making my point. But he was right, though. Okay, <laughs> so what if, what if he, he would have said, right. okay. Uh, he didn't say, the, let's talk the, about baseball. If he would have said, exactly, the World Series coming up, what would you would have said then? Because I, I would have been like, That would have been a more genuine conversation. I would have been like, nah, man, talk basketball. I would have said that. <laughs> but you would want him to go to basketball, but, but now I, he bring what up the fuck basketball. Did you want from this I want him to approach me the right way. Like, okay, like, like. Why can't we talk about stocks and bonds? I'm not good enough for that. Why is basketball? Because you don't know shit about it. it. If somebody, if the first thing somebody comes to you and says basketball. If somebody comes to me and assumes I'm like fluent in a certain conversation and I just so happen to be, Mm -hmm. his fucking assumption was right. Okay. If somebody walks up to you and say, hey, you Duncan, you don't think that's racist? A white man walks up to you and say, hey, 
Can you dunk a ball? No. That's not okay. All right. All right. That's stereotypical. It is. It's, it's, yeah. That's not racist. It's, it's racist. Stereotypical is not racist. You're a black racist, man. Though. I assume you can jump. I assume you can dunk the ball and put the listen, ball between the legs. This is why I'm going to shut you the fuck down right Go here. Go ahead. Do that. First of all, all right, he came to you talking about basketball. Exactly. You talk about basketball all the fucking time. He, so he that's, probably heard the podcast. So then, <laughs> so then you say, why don't you talk to me about baseball? Why didn't you leave with that if that's your favorite sport? But you don't know shit about baseball either. So... You wanted him to talk to you about some shit you know nothing about? No, but the first conversation is like the way you introduce yourself is how. Okay. Did you have that Miami Heat on hat, hat on when you picked him up? No, no, yes you did. And man. it was like two in the morning. He probably didn't. He he wasn't seen it anyway. He got in the back seat. All I'm saying is, you know, it's just like he could have talked about everything under the sun. I asked him what part of Philly we was in. He went straight to basketball. That's all I'm saying. He was trying like, to find a common yeah. ground. How did this, he know? this is a guy I never met before. I'm in the back of his car. Mad big. Um, I got to find something we could talk about, a, a mutual so subject that we both know a little something you need, about. You need so to he threw relax. baseball out. So he threw basketball out there just to see if you was going to take the bait. You took the bait, it, it oh, opened up a conversation, conversation, a dialogue. Because if not, you could have just said, no, nah, I only watch basketball. He'd be like, oh, oh well, what sport you watch? You know what I'm saying? Right. It, it would have threw you for a loop because you're black and you're supposed to watch basketball. But you do. He didn't know that. Hey, y'all. But you fucking do. But it's a safe <laughs> assumption, though, that you yeah. watch basketball. But okay. You it's so, our culture. It's so a part a of our culture. Dude, so if a white man picked me up in his Uber, I'm supposed to say, hey, how's your hockey team doing? <laughs> I mean, if that's right? what you think. If that's what you feel like started, you want to say. where your mind is. If right? that's what you feel is a conversation behind, starter. Yeah. yeah. Why the fuck it not? Ain't like, it ain't like you got that. in a car and say, hey, you got any warrants? Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Hey, how many warrants you had? How many times you were locked up this year? Okay, okay. What about when they get in my car and ask me, do I got weed? Okay, I, mean, I might be. Uh, okay. I mean, that, no, you really can't. I don't know about don't that. Know, man. It's, it's a lot of white people. You got to look at it's it. A lot of white people. You got to look at weed. weed you got to look at weed now from the perspective that it's put out into the world. Now, weed is is legal in a lot of places. It's not like that bad thing it was in the fucking eighties and the seventies. This is like a, it's or just as common 90s. as fucking asking about basketball now. Well, that's just me. Maybe take me. I take that's for example because I was high early today to feel good. Anyway. It's, a, it's all right. It's, it's but all that's right, just man. me, man. Like, the first words that come out of your mouth is a deal breaker. It can make the deal or it can break the deal. You're like, hmm. No, you're just being over analytical. Yeah, that's for what no I mean. reason. But I me personally, right. I would have cool. thought it was cool. Okay. I used right. to drive a limo and I had an Indian guy talk about football with me the whole time I'm taking to the airport. You know, ain't no Indian people Sports in the NFL? Man. I thought it was cool. Is Indian people in the NFL? I don't know. No, but I'm surprised he watched football. That's crazy. I just thought about that. Mm. And I'm like, yo, this guy watched football. All right, we could talk. And yeah, we talked the whole culture, time to man. the airport right. about football. Sports, Some cultures more than others in other sports, but sports is a culture. Yeah, man. It's universal. Everybody mm-hmm. comes together. It's just like weed, man. People come together off that shit. All right, that's cool. <laughs> you know? There's going to be some that agree, some that disagree. Yo, if <laughs> you think that was racist, put in the comments if you think that was racist. Or put if you think this nigga was reaching for thinking the white dude was being racist, or if it was just a general conversation. And make, and make sure y'all or tag if he me. actually was being racist. Make sure y'all but I me. do mean it in the most well, I don't want to throw y'all off, but he ain't a he wasn't a bad guy. Yeah, he but, seemed pretty cool from the story you was telling But me. it was crazy, though, because as I dropped him off, because like I say, it's like a college town. But as I mm-hmm. dropped him off, they was, a bunch of white boys were singing past the Gavarcia, and they were saying, nigga, uh, so pasta? like I, I already know where, you know what I'm saying, it's just the hip-hop culture. I get it. I'm not saying that he's a bad person. It's just he could have let off a different way. I just felt some type of way about that. Now, on to the next topic, though. I seen some clips, not clips, but pictures of Power Season 4. Word. And this is what I seen. I don't know who the female ghost was talking to, but he had teary eyes and he was on the phone talking to a woman. The next picture I seen, I seen Tasha in court. Yeah, I seen that. You seen that? Yeah. I seen that picture. Here's my question. Is it time for ghosts to go home? Before you answer that, understand that we know... He's not going to be in jail the entire season. He's going to get out. Angela's going to realize she made a mistake, and she's going to fight for his love again because she's going to – He, she's wrong. But Tasha is still there with him, and she locked Ghost up. Is it time for Ghost to go home knowing that Ghost loves Angela? Yo, yo, there's no way he can trust her, yo. 
If Ghost still keep mm-hmm. fucking with Angela, yo, he's a fucking fool. He's a stupid. There's no way you could trust her, though. She got me arrested. I just signed the fucking big, this big time nightlife contract with this <laughs> deal I've been working on for like a the whole hard season. As hell, the whole mm-hmm. season. The, the motherfuckers across the street tried to steal the deal from me. I had to bust on any operation just to get her back to my club. I finally get her to sign that paper. I finally kill my line. I'm in the clear. And you going to arrest me? Right in there. In front of these motherfuckers? In front of everybody. <laughs> yeah. I in the club. I spit in her fucking face. I, <laughs> bitch, he should have been home. I would have spit in her Talk face. He should have been home. Man, I look at Tasha and I look at Angela. Uh, I'm a Tasha type of... I, I, I like you that. You a ta- Tasha type of dude? Yeah, That's like... For real, like man, she word that him, right, she word hold, that right though. She 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 holding them down, right? She she, I mean she she doing everything. She going above and beyond. I've been for, saying for this, this man. like all the since family. they was since season. they was the kids. I understand. Like I listen to every episode, so I I know what y'all saying when when Angela, you know, Ghost wanted to do something different and yeah. wanted to go a different route, and uh, Tasha wasn't feeling it and all that other stuff. Nah. Tasha is is that girl, yo. She 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 was holding she him was down. A key piece. He should he should have been home. I don't I don't really think, think Angela I all think that attractive up, anyway. I think he got caught up in puppy love with with Angela. I think he got caught up with puppy love with Angela, yeah. and he tried to take it too far, and it got it got him caught up, man. So I think I think it is time for him to go home. His his, 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 his son his home. son ain't acting right. Is some messing around oh, with Kane now? Yeah, it's some about to get killed or some crazy I heard stuff. So. Yeah, it's, it's time. It's time to um, bring back home, bring it back home to the family. Man. I just, want, I just want. I don't know, man. I don't know how he's gonna get out of jail. I would like to see. It. I know. Oh, yeah. I, I would like to see yeah. how <laughs> he's going to get out of jail first before he takes his ass anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he can't fucking go home yet, because as it goes, as they uh, ended the last episode, you know, the fucking ghost fingerprints was on. As soon as window. he did that, I already soon knew what it was. I knew it was fucking up. because I he knew was rushing. What it was. He dropped the piece. I was like, yeah, he about to get caught. I didn't know that was going to result in Greg dying. I didn't know how they was going to play it like that. Yo. But as soon as I saw him put his hand on soon that as, window. As soon as, what is his name, Mike came up to the room, yeah. I knew Greg was going to die and I knew Ghost was going right. to get blamed exactly. for it. Yeah. It just, it just, it, it came all together. Yeah. Speaking of Mike, once they realize that they have somebody to pin on that murder, he's not going to let this go. So I agree. We got to find out how he's going to get out. I just don't see Ghost in jail it's the gonna entire be, It's going to yeah. be, it's no, got to be no. Angela he, because he the only motherfuckers who know that Mike was the leak all day. Nobody knows it's exactly him. The only thing that's connecting to anything is the is the, the phone, phone that that, that ghost took off Hugo that he gave to Angela. But Mike put his bone phone that was connected to Hugo phone in Greg's apartment after exactly. he killed him. So I don't know how the fuck this shit is gonna turn out. But I think it's gotta be Angela that finds out since she's the one going so hard. That see she's just fucking so heartbroken that Greg is killed. Like <laughs> man, here, if man. Angela died next season, I wouldn't shed a tear. <laughs> yeah, I won't shed a tear. <laughs> season they four should be her. Angela they, must die. They, they, and they Ghost, could kill her off. Ghosts need here. to stop having big parties at Truth because every time he do some shit happens. <laughs> stop having fucking parties there. Yo, don't don't fucking the party club, in there. No, fuck that. <laughs> don't don't every season <laughs> end. Every season <laughs> end. Season one, he caught yo. I'm back. You know what I'm saying? Season one, what you call it? Caught the bullet. Uh-huh. I'm saying the, the hitter tried to hit Ghost and she hit Holly and shit. What happened? How season two end? I don't remember. Well, season two ended with Ghost and um Kane and fighting. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. So still, two out of three seasons. Two out of three, something go down that truth. Like, hey yo, and then why? I, yo, he got like four other clubs now. Why he only keep partying there? Like go to one of the other shits, man. <laughs> <laughs> go to, that's his baby. Go to one of my other motherfuckers. How many of y'all think um Keisha's dead? I don't think she did. I don't think she did. Because anybody big time that they show died. Like anytime Ooh, Lala, anybody right? big yeah, time Lala. that died. She did. Oh, she did. They, but they she all, did? What's the name well, killed her? They always show Tommy. when they die, though. Yeah, that's yeah. what I heard. I don't Tommy, know, though. I think they always show when they die. I don't think Tommy will kill her, She have a big part in it. But, yeah. but, her name, but her name is big enough that her, like, death will be, Listen, like, bro. promoted on the TV. She ain't had that news scene she, last year just to get... Just to, just die to get to killed yeah, off on yeah, the side, she, like she did that for a reason, man. They it's showed Sean punk ass die, like oh, yeah. yeah. You know Everybody that died, they showed you. They listen. Listen, Kanan choked out somebody's grandmother on TV. Yeah, they can kill Lala. Yeah, I think they probably had Tommy like tell her what was going on and right. just have her slip out the back door or something, never to and be seen. And lay low right. for a while, right? Because we all know Tommy's going to start moving the drugs out exactly. of exactly, right. exactly. Damn, I oh, can't wait. Damn. August, July needs to hurry up 2017, well, I hope we man. got stars because we're going man. back to direct TV. Man, you need to get that fire stick, man. And then everyone got to get a fire stick. 
No, worry about yourself. Yeah, basically. <laughs> or, or, but you just take the fucking fire stick hey, out of the out TV the room. you watch it. Yeah. And put it in the one you're going to Fire stick in portable, time. don't you know? <laughs> Fuck that. This ain't no fucking cable box. Speaking of TV shows, I still ain't get hip to Luke Cage, man. I'm sorry. I tried it again. Dope. Word. I tried Dope. it again. I was like, man, Fire. Dope. Word. Dope. Mm. You like Luke Cage? Dope. Yeah, I watch. Yeah, I Dope. watch it. Great I, show. Be, I don't pay yet, too much I attention watch to, to acting. Like when I watch it, and like Amber is there, and Jared is there, they be like, "Yo, the acting is horrible." Kim, I couldn't like, tell. The acting is horrible. Yeah, I, it's like, I couldn't it's tell. Like a, they're not a black really good exploitation yeah, they're not film. Really good actors. A co- kind of feel. Yeah, if you think about it, everybody yeah. in that movie is none trash. Them are, yeah, none of them. Are another show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All of them is trash somewhere else. Yeah, and I was and I've been of... watching it. When I was watching, I was like, oh, that's enough from House of Cards. Oh, that's enough from Sons of Anarchy. Oh, that's enough from Breaking Bad. This is a fucking melting pot of washed up motherfuckers. <laughs> hey, man, you can star on this show, man. Yeah. Fuck it. We need somebody. <laughs> All of these characters are trash somewhere mm-hmm. else, but they did a great job doing this, man. Every hood needs to Luke Cage. I tell you, when I put my hoodie on, I feel like Luke Cage. But you're not. But you're Duke but you're Cage. Not. I mean, Duke, no, Duke Rage. Duke Rage, Rage man. Rage. Duke Rage. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why. Oh. why. One more thing about TV shows. Nobody when... calls you that. <laughs> Nobody's ever going to call you that. Yo, he's a hater, man. No, it's the truth, man. Who One fu- more. Who called you that shit since you uh, said it was your name last remote. time? Business remote. That's not what Duke <laughs> Rage does, man. He said what the fuck remote. Luke Cage Ben's Bins guns. But Luke Cage No, no, I said Duke, Duke Rage, Rage Ben's guns. Remote. <laughs> Duke and cell phones. They <laughs> <laughs> get mad at the cell phone. <laughs> I don't I like that, do that fucking name, man. Duke Rage? Duke yeah, I don't like You don't that like shit. Duke Cage? I mean, Luke Cage, you ain't going to like Duke Rage, man. Oh, my God. But you don't... <laughs> but I don't like Luke... I don't like Luke Cage because of the abilities that he has, but you don't have shit. <laughs> But listen, but listen, listen. You don't talk, like him though. because of the abilities. Right, right. I don't understand why he bends. I don't, he don't the like the guns. But it's not. He bends the guns because he don't like them. He, he want like them off this. the streets. Right. But that's, that's why I'm yeah. confused. That's not his power to bend But guns. is he super strong he's or he's just able strong, to bend guns? And he's super strong and bulletproof. Yeah. This is like he Superman is. without flying. He's a X-ray vision. He's a strong black man. That's that's the moral of it. Don't look at the bending guns. Physically and He's a strong black man. He's a good man. He's not out here hurting people on purpose. Listen, he could have killed Cottonmouth in the first episode. Yeah. We know that. Yeah. But he's a good man. He doesn't like the N-word. Like, he's basically setting the example of what strong black men could possibly look like and who could defend their communities. That's how I took it. So if it was bad acting or or extended too long, like, I think it should have been 10 episodes, not 13. I get that. Mm-hmm. But regardless of what mistakes they made, I swept it under the rug because I knew what they was trying to do. To me. So you could do that for any whack movie you watch, dude. If I get it, and if it represents, I feel like Luke Cage, man. I put a hoodie on. You know what I'm saying? Like, Take I pick up heavy off. stuff. Did you feel Ball like Kaepernick head. when he was kneeling down on the anthem? No, speaking of that, though, he played his first, he had his first start today. They he, got their ass whooped. But he did okay. He did okay. The 49ers is trash. 49ers is yeah, definitely trash. Ass. As a whole. Shout out to the San Francisco uh, fans out there because y'all niggas is ass. That's, they, good. That's Chip Kelly. Well, fuck. Well, the Kelly owner, is Kelly. Trash. the owner, the defensive coordinator, the offensive coordinator, the head coach, the offensive lineman's coach, the quarterback, the offensive lineman, y'all fucking garbage. <laughs> Colin did miss a few uh, passes he could have made, but he got to get his fir- footwork down. But you know he hasn't played in so long, but he looks good. Mm-hmm. Now, did y'all see what the Buffalo Bills fans was doing? I think they had shirts where they had his face on it with a bullseye. Who? Yeah, I, just, oh, I, I did see that. Yeah, I did see that. Buffalo Bill fans, yeah. Oh, nah, I now, I don't that. know if it's licensed by the NFL. I'm about to show you. It was like it was like a stupid slogan. It was like, stand up or get out or some shit with fucking the rifle. Man, that's... I'm saying scope aimed at him. Is that racist? Man, that's ridiculous. Yeah, that's, extremely yeah, racist. that's racist. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's racist. extreme. And, and yeah. the fact that you can have a bullseye on a person and you can sell those T-shirts with no repercussions, is, it's horrible, yo. Yeah. Wow. I was definitely watching it on the fire stick and um, just to see if he can do something good. But the but the um, 49ers is trash, man. Like Shout um, out to they, the they Giants, man, because we got too. over on the Ravens today. Shout out to all the Ravens fans out there. We got you, motherfuckers. The Ravens are overrated. Flacco sucks. Y'all lost to us today. Goodbye. Have a good week. Hey, you know what? Goodness gracious. Hey, you know what? I want to ask y'all a question. Walking Dead, right? It's coming back. Next week. Next week. I never watched watch it. it. You don't? Oh, you know? Never nah, watched. I, I watched one episode when the black people was getting eight. Exactly. I, and that I was never it. Watched. All right. Well, I'll ask you then, Fresh. Yep. Ask me. I, I know. <laughs> Walking Dead. It ended with a bunch of them on their knees, hands behind their back. About to find out who got their head bashed in by Who do you think it is, though? 
Abraham. Abraham. I think it's Abraham. Me too. I think it's the Asian dude. You don't watch dude. it. I think it's the Asian dude. I'm, I'm just saying. I agree with y'all. I think it's, I think it's, I think both of y'all. If both of y'all say it's Abraham, then I'm just throwing both I think it's the Asian dude that was getting ate because they said he alive. What? Remember all them zombies? All them zombies was eating that Asian dude? Glenn been alive. Yeah, so I you think it's know, him. No, man. <laughs> that don't make no sense what you just said. It don't said. make no sense. I, mean, I, I think was he got bashed in his head because they say he was alive. Because they say he was alive after that episode he was getting eight. Yeah, Glenn yeah, almost, so Glenn almost died like five times. Yeah, so I think it's him because it's finally time for me I think it's Abraham because um, if you watch it up when they um, show Abraham's character, he was like coming to he was coming to terms with everything that was going on. So he was like finally getting grips on what it was to be living like and uh, under these circumstances and the things that they had to do in order to survive, he was just being comfortable with it and trying to move on and get past it after he came to the realization of being comfortable. So I think that's why they kind of like, all right, well, if you think shit's sweet, basically this is like the directors. All right, Abraham's life is going pretty good right now. We got to fuck it up and kill him. Oh, that's yeah, that's yeah. basically what, that's, that's life. Yeah, we got to fuck life. it up and kill him. That's here's, what I think happened. Here's my thing. Right, you got a big diverse group. You got black women, white women, white pregnant women, white man, little boy, Asian guy. They're not going to beat a black woman with a bat on TV. I don't think they will. They're not going. Depends beat, on who it is. Well, they're not going <laughs> to. They're not going to beat. Rick. They would have beat your ass. No, Wait, what? <laughs> they would have beat your ass. Would no, that, you would have been gone. They're, you would have been gone. They're not going to. Well. Talking about black women, I don't think it's a black man on there, right? Well, no, I'm just saying if you replace that black woman, your ass is getting whooped, Toby. And y'all were going to that riot, right? Crazy, right? Probably not. Heck no. yeah, See? on TV. Yeah, you can't beat a black man with a bat on TV. On TV, no, right? You got paid to get your butt. All right, well, it depends on how you look at it. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, I'm watching it. It's a you, fucking TV exactly. show. If, if it was out in the middle of the street. In front of my fucking house, it I'm ain't like, like no, they really hit this. you. Remember on episode Stop one, it. since you said you've seen them all, I had a problem with the first episode. Oh yeah, because uh, he Merle called him a nigger, the out of, uh... and then he beat the black dude up. <laughs> Yo, I've funny. never seen that. If you call somebody a nigger, I told on TV, you this. We talked about this already. I'm telling I you, thought it was just racist. because a white man calls you a nigger, don't, don't mean you can no beat hands. that white man. That white don't man probably gonna fuck you up. He might got the hand. He he got, you know what I'm saying? And then all black dudes can't fight, so he picked. He called the right dude, nigger. What does that? Well, I don't. Yeah, I'm doing a little dance right now. You can't see it. I don't know why. I just started doing it. The they're fuck? not going to beat the black woman on TV. Nah. They're not going to beat Rick. They're not going to beat his son. They're not going to beat, beat the, the pregnant, pregnant woman. woman. Right. And I think that that's why Abraham is it. Because it's just like if you process of elimination. Yeah, it's just like. It's just you know, I mean, you, you, you coming up with these scenarios as if those people can't get beat. Like you were in the writer's room. Why can't those people get beat? I think it'll cause like just some an outrage from the audience. Like, first off, you got a pregnant woman. You're going to beat and kill a pregnant woman? Hey, no. man, listen, this TV either? shows like this are all about twists and turns, man, that make the story. Exactly. If, if somebody get, if a pregnant woman getting a has beat the death makes a good story and that they can get something out of, they'll fucking write it. I don't think they should. I think that's got to fuck They're going to lose a few viewers. Yeah, yeah people, th- that's what I'm gonna saying. They're going to gain some viewers, too. Yeah. Oh, well. It's the it's cost like, of doing business. Because if I come to you, be like, yo, you seen Walking Dead last week, man? They beat the pregnant lady to death with the bat. Why they beat the pregnant lady? What the fuck they do that? I don't know. You got to watch it. Let me see what the fuck this nigga nah, talk about. I ain't. That, that ain't why would they beat it? Why, why the fuck would they beat a pregnant woman to death? It's TV. It's just TV for me. Jarrell's not one of those people. See? Jarrell's one of those people who can't take himself out of the equation or whatever mm. it is. <laughs> mm. You know what I'm saying? It don't, don't matter what it is. I don't know what he's talking about. Those one of what the best mean? shows. I just said that shit plain as day. You I mean, know what the hell I'm talking about. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, finish, that, finish yeah. your point. What you were saying? No, it's going to be Abraham. That's it. That's this. I mean, I, I did finish my point. They're All not right. going to beat the mother. Um, the other people, man. So hold on. <laughs> let me Glenn. ask you. Let me Glenn ask you a question. Killed. So it's not okay for them to beat the black woman, right, on TV with a bat. It's not. That's not okay. So why is why are you comfortable with a white man getting beat to death? Goodness gracious. It's a certain way. Goodness gracious. Because you I said it's Abraham. I think it's Abraham. It's no problem. But it's no way it could be the black woman. But you're perfectly fine with Abraham getting his head bashed. Because there. there's like there's like no community behind Abraham. You know what I'm saying? Like the white man is the white man. If you beat a pregnant woman, you're going to have, you know, it's like killing animals. You're going to have Peter come around. You know, killing, oh killing black women, you're going to have, you know what I'm saying, certain people come behind and fight your show. Killing Abraham, nobody's going to say the rednecks of the South aren't going to come out and say, hey, we're going to boycott your show. They're not going to do it. That's why you don't he was mess a, with He him. was a Marine or one of them army So branches. are the Marines going to boycott? I'm, they I'm could. Saying, you just say he don't belong to no groups. He does not. Well, I don't see, like, 
I just don't see that. All right. When there are certain things going on. I just want to know why you thought it was cool. uh, You were perfectly fine with Abraham getting his yeah. ass whooped. But nah, you that, that's crazy. That is crazy, you, you right? You the show. <laughs> I'm just saying. But I'm saying, you, though. You hear it, though, right? Listen, on Power, 50 uh, choked out somebody's grandma. Did all the grandmas protest uh, Power? Right. Yeah. Did they yeah. <laughs> the church going grandmas <laughs> wasn't <laughs> See, That's what's wrong with the black community. Exactly. A black on black crime is okay. But they be a black woman on TV. You got a problem with it. But Fifty choked out this old lady and you on, said that on power, like, and you didn't have an issue like, with it. I exactly. thought that was graphic. I thought it was pretty graphic. But you didn't. Put up, you didn't go, but you didn't uh, protest. Did you didn't go in, up in arms about this shit. Like you, it was fine. No, with I didn't say it was I fine. would. I didn't See, say that's, I that's would. I said the black community. I said that there are certain people who would. Like there are certain people behind all of these individuals. I believe Rick's the star. You're not going to be the kid. It's just me. Like, like there's certain things that you try to stay away from. Now, don't get me wrong. Television is pushing the envelope these days. Oh, things yeah. are changing. Yeah, definitely. But before, there was a time where you wouldn't touch certain things. That's all I'm saying. Exactly. That's all. Because of, I guess, the morals and values of everybody back then, you wouldn't dare touch a woman, a pregnant woman on TV. Yeah, that's stuff like that. As the world but, changed, so is everything around Yeah, the it. world mm-hmm. is changing. Mm-hmm. I, but I am speaking on it as at one time, you would not touch certain things. Yeah, I feel you. That's all I'm you. saying. Are y'all ready for One's Gotta Go? Who is Okay. It? Who okay. the fuck gotta go? We're going to do this California style. California. I thought I thought this one was actually tough. And I actually West changed Coast. my answer. Um, one's West Gotta Go. Side. So we got Magic Johnson. Okay. Tupac. Snoop Dogg. Kobe Bryant. Now, we got to go one at a time, and I want to hear why one, which one has to go and why. Once again, Tupac, Snoop Dogg. Kobe Bryant, Magic Johnson. We going down a list one by one, and we only taking out one, and that's it. No, just name one, one that has one. to go and why they go. Oh, okay. Who's going to go first? Fresco. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kobe Bryant is a fucking leaving my group. I don't give a shit what none of y'all say. I've been a Lakers fan my whole damn life, and I recognize Kobe as one of the top players to ever pick up a rock. So Kobe's fucking king on this throne. He ain't leaving this category. Uh... Honestly, I don't know. It's out of Magic Johnson or Snoop Dogg. Hey, why Magic got to go? I thought I was one of your favorite players. It is. He is. Well, I mean, in this category, I mean, he never really did shit for me. Like, But he's a Laker. He was a Laker. He's man. a legend. He's definitely a legend. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I don't. It's certain Snoop Dogg records that I like that I can't get rid of. Tupac, overall, like, who the fuck is getting rid of Tupac? If you think about getting rid of him, you need to get the fuck about your seat and bounce right now. Oh, Magic out. definitely worth more than all the other people on Absolutely, the list. but that, that shit doesn't mean nothing to me either. <laughs> <laughs> He's a black businessman. He's a black yeah. businessman, yeah, but as far as this list goes, I, don't, I mean, yeah, yeah I'm going to get rid of Magic Johnson, man. Get rid of Magic Johnson. All right, Don Macalicious, Don. Wait, I ain't get my reason why. Okay, go ahead. Dang, he's about to say my name, too. You ah! was, too. After you didn't want to say it yeah, earlier. Right. <laughs> Fuck around with you. <laughs> well, what's your I got to get rid of Magic Johnson because I feel like everybody else on the list holds a little bit more weight. Magic right Johnson kind of fat. For real. He is, and he's tall, too. <laughs> a tall, fat. Snoop Six, holds nine. more weight than Magic? I think when you think about, because I... Like, what the fuck did you think about Magic Johnson for? Like, today and age, when you think about Magic Johnson, like... What is it that he does for you, entertainment wise? Period. I don't. Magic Johnson. If I'm not like, mistaken, if, even if I'm on YouTube and I want to look up highlights of basketball, no, I do look at Magic Johnson highlights. Yeah, he was not He's, no, he was the first uh, athlete, if I'm not mistaken, to get paid off his jersey sales. He demanded that, and I think he was the first athlete, the black athlete. To get paid a certain amount too, he demanded that. I he mean, played for the Lakers his whole career. Uh, yeah, that's, he was he was he was a, a star. Yeah, man. that's that's great. That's fucking awesome. But and then he and then the after coming out of the league, <laughs> he he did a lot for the black community business wise. Mm. That's great, <laughs> but not for chat. I just don't give a fuck. <laughs> but, okay, what that's Snoop do? Great. What Snoop do? Snoop is just more entertaining to me. Okay, all right, this yeah. is more entertaining. Okay, okay I'm, I got. You. I've I got never you. seen Magic Johnson speak. Like I'm, I'm never able to go anywhere that Magic fucking. Johnson One thing goes. I will say is I, I hate Magic Johnson tweets. Hey, you know what? He, another, <laughs> yo, he a dick rider, man. Like whenever basketball season come, he'll tweet. Hey, y'all better watch out for those Cavaliers. <laughs> Two weeks later, man, the Golden State Warriors, the number one team in the league. Look, Magic, make up your fucking mind, Magic. <laughs> Make up your mind, Magic man. got the worst tweets. <laughs> yeah, it's, yo, Magic, what the fuck you want us to believe? What, who you rolling with? Is? Get Magic Johnson on my list. Tupac, Shaq, Tupac, Kobe, 
Snoop. They stand. Not in that order, just they just stand. Magic Johnson got Who you got, Don? Well, because I relate more to basketball and then not rap. Um, I'm going to keep Magic and I'm going to keep Kobe. Definitely keeping them. And out of Snoop Dogg and Tupac. Y'all might kill me for this, but no, Tupac is gone. Because I think I, I think I know why though. <laughs> Tupac is already gone. So. Oh man. <laughs> That's because <laughs> Donovan was like six yeah, when Tupac that, yeah, died. Yeah, I never really paid attention yeah. to he all that. He was like that. six years old when Tupac exactly. died. No, I definitely knew you were going to say yeah, that because Tupac exactly. really didn't do nothing yeah, for you. He didn't do anything for me. I okay. Mean, I know about two songs. And, and that's the same thing for me, really. Yeah. Like, I was born in 86. Magic Johnson retired in 91. And because I like basketball, I can I can go look up, you know, YouTube videos of them two and steal from I stole a lot from Magic Johnson. Well, on the court, I shit. stole I stole all that stuff. So you know, Tupac. I only really read why I listen to Tupac because everybody else liked him and listened to him. I, they said he was a legend, so I believed him. I believed mm. everybody, and I listened to him. And uh, he was he was dope, but yeah, he never really did nothing for me. So, um, so Tupac, rest in peace, go. Tupac. Mm. That's a tough one. I guess it's my turn. We going in this order. When if when this first when this list first came up, I said Snoop Dogg had to go, and then I had to sit back and think. Irrelevant. And first <laughs> off, Tupac, June sixteenth, same day as your boy. That's my twin. He ain't going nowhere. I mean, he was like ten years older than you, but that's June sixteenth. I understood him though, cause I I used to trip like like before I knew who I was. Like, how is he making a dear mama? And then he's doing like, but I I get that dwell personality that the Gemini's have. You know what I'm saying? I get that person. I get that personality thing. So Tupac stays. Kobe Bryant stays because he, you know, is definitely. Currently, like one of the best players I've ever seen. No hate in the loud mm-hmm. on that one. There you, know you go. Yep. I, I mean, that's fact the first time fact, in my life I've ever heard you say Kobe that. Kobe dropped eighty two while I was alive. Eighty one. Eighty one. Eighty one. Eighty one. I fall eighty one on Toronto. Either way, Either way. <laughs> Either way though, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Jalen Rose, you got to wear that. Yeah. Eighty one. Um, who else is it? It's um, Magic Johnson and Snoop left. I gotta go, with Snoop. Snoop's got to go, man. Magic Johnson, you you convinced me. I was gonna go with Magic. Got to go, but you convinced me on. Hold on, but wait, Snoop. Uh, to, to making an argument for what Snoop do for people, Snoop got a whole fucking football league that he let kids play in, and he Snoop's still and relevant, he's an man. active participant in this football. He just league. smokes like, a lot he's of weed there all the time. I got you, but let me let me. Pop, he has his own. I, well, I ain't gonna say it's his own, but I know he has a team in the Pop Water League. And he's yeah, like supports right. the fuck out of those kids. You're right. His sons came up through Magic that. Magic Johnson yeah. owns the Dodgers, bro. You don't watch baseball. We established this. Right, you but you're talking about, about what Magic Johnson does for Little League. Magic, I mean, Snoop Dogg does for Little League. Magic Johnson has enough money and is a, a big enough businessman to actually own a baseball team. I mean, in comparison to actually putting kids through a football program and Magic Johnson getting paid off a baseball team, I don't think it compares in that term. Yeah, but I think it's more to it than just owning a baseball team. He's providing jobs. He's providing opportunities for people. He's just not owning a baseball team. You got Magic Johnson hires people to do this work, and I'm pretty sure he's very, you know, diverse when it comes to who he's he's hiring. You don't know that. Hey, I assume his (laughs) his track record speaks he loves his community. Um, Now, I was going to go... I was going to keep Snoop Dogg on because of some things like when Snoop kicked over the building in New York, that was big for me. What he did at the Source Awards, like Battle Rap, and his first album, Man, Doggy no St- love for Snoop Dogg and, and his first right? album, Doggy Style, was fire. But at the end of the day, since 1992, what has Snoop Dogg done that was great? Like Doggy Style is fire. The New York New York beef was like 95. That's fire. But what has Snoop really done since 1992? Snoop been in movies. Snoop been You're talking still, about musically. That was that's still so hit. impactful. You like man, Snoop still got it, or he's just he he finds his he finds a way to stay relevant. Yeah, I just know he's still relevant, relevant. but not mm-hmm. as relevant. Like like he's still there. Don't get me wrong. How relevant is he supposed to? He like forty seven. Like what is he supposed to be? Doing? Okay, what did he do in his thirties? I'm saying like he 1992, 1993, Doggy Style. That was his biggest album, I was biggest two years debut. Old. But what has he done after that? His next album was trash. You don't remember no songs he had on No Limit. Like then he had the beautiful song with with, with Pharrell. But album wise, his biggest album was in '93. What has he done that was so great since 1993? Who's, who said he's done anything that, uh, so great that drop it like it's hot? He's had, peaches and cream. he's had cool oh, singles. Oh, he's had, he's had hits oh, since that yeah, first He's album. had hits. And he's played in a lot of good Dancing movies and a lot of, like, he got to get a lot of small roles 
that he plays it. But he's also Snoop's one of those guys who's fortunate enough the best to be able to play, always play himself. The best movie he, he played in was probably Baby Boy. Yeah, because he was playing. When he played um, playing himself, nah, right? Bones. Bones. That movie was horrible. <laughs> that movie was, was trash. <laughs> Bones. Yeah, but Magic Johnson, man. I had him going, but now I got Snoop Dogg going. My, you know, my preference, my man over here convinced me, you know, the businessman, what he did in the 80s, how he, the league was his. They just, you know, him and Larry Birds, you know, he passed mm-hmm. the torch on to Jordan. Yeah. He just went on to be bigger and better, um, bigger and better businessman. You know, the movie theater that he owns. Every, like, he's almost a billionaire. Almost. I wonder Ain't if, no yeah. Fucking yeah. Last Johnson time I checked, he head. was worth $600 million. Yeah, and so at the end of the day, Magic Johnson just stays Snoop. You got to go. Would Magic Johnson be as famous as he is now if he didn't get HIV and do what he did? With so you're saying, yeah, because he would have yeah. stayed in the league and he would have did more than what he did already. How do what does the know HIV that? got to do with because him? Because Magic saying, Johnson was I, nasty. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Him having HIV might have gave his celebrity a bump. Just the same way they that like when rappers, sorry for him. just the same way when rappers die. Now everybody, oh my God, that's my favorite yeah, rapper. And they get a bump and a celebrity. I no, think it's, it's a couple Johnson rappers that could die. And HIV, it's a lot of them that can die. You won't give a fuck. Goodness but it's gracious. a couple of them that die, and everybody automatically goes, oh, my God, he was my fucking favorite. The greatest that's, rapper that's, that's alive, like, period. People, I'm just saying, I think him, you know what I'm saying, contracted the virus. Him On, on top nah. of him being the person that he was, the outstanding basketball player and the humanitarian, as I'm learning right him, now. Him catching him the virus slowed virus, him down, I'll tell you might, that. You know what I'm saying? It slowed him down. I'm just saying it's something to think about. I could be wrong. I could be right. No, or I could be right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I could be fucking right. Y'all never thought about that shit, though, did you? Uh, no. Why not? No, because it's not true. Yeah, I, he would, I, Magic I can't Johnson, see that happening. If he would have stayed How old were you, you, how old were you when you he look, announced he had HIV in November of 91 or 92? I don't know. Exactly. So you don't know how that announcement. That because he came back to the league. Well, you then he born? had the league. league. <laughs> he wasn't, I don't know. I probably wasn't even born. But that's not the point. <laughs> that's that, that's the point. not the point. Because you don't know how that not the reacted, point. how the public actually reacted to if that If you initially. check his stats and his track record, Magic Johnson would have been nasty. He would have said, more records on the Lakers if he would have stayed in the Yeah, league. had he not caught that because the Lakers he... were still in the finals. Like, yeah, exactly. He playing sick with the virus. He's still in the finals against Jordan. Like, the Lakers was in the finals eight out of nine, eight out of ten years, eight, yeah. eight out of 11, something like that. Yeah. They were in the finals, he like, almost five. every year. He won five. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if Jordan would have came off like he did if Magic still was in the league. Yes, he would have. No. Yes, he would have. Magic was nasty. Magic and was, he had a team around him but, already. But the thing was, like Jordan was busting their ass already. He was just the bull suck. Until yeah, Jordan, the 90s. Jordan couldn't be stopped. The, he was busting. Regardless. Jordan was busting their asses in 84 since he and got Magic knew that. Magic yeah. knew but it. the Bulls was ass until the 90s. So it ain't really fucking matter. But he was still doing what he was doing regardless of what Jordan. You ain't see. He put up 63 on Bird in the playoffs the first round. You mean to tell me he wasn't busting Magic Johnson ass too? What the fuck? Well, well, yeah, facts Michael is. Jordan, this is, well, you know well, yeah, this, is this is the facts. This is the facts. I'm going to let my man get his um one off, but I want to say this. In the finals in 91, they took Jordan off Magic and put Pippen on him, and that's what slowed him down. So maybe Jordan wasn't, wasn't doing what you thought he was doing to Magic. It was Pippen. Who stopped Magic in '91? I never. I was to talk about like straight up one on one. I just know Magic was nasty as fuck, but it wasn't no way Magic was stopping Jordan. Fuck. Okay, brother. Who I'm not got? even that big of a Jordan fan either, but I know that nigga was nasty as a motherfucker. <laughs> mm-hmm. Who you got? All right, one gotta go. We said Tupac. Um, who is it? Snoop Tupac, Dog, Snoop, Snoop, Tupac, Snoop, Kobe, Kobe, Magic. Kobe Magic. And Magic. Okay, uh, my Bye, Magic. It was it for me. It was going to be between Kobe ah. and Snoop. Mm. Why well, I don't like Kobe. Mm. It's personal. I don't like. <laughs> How the fuck is it personal? It's personal. I don't like Kobe. Well, I gotta hear it. I gotta hear it. Bro. I don't I like Kobe. It. I just don't. I don't like his attitude. Mm. I don't like his attitude as a person. I don't like Kobe. I, I, it's just been a long time coming. I don't like Kobe. <laughs> you don't know Kobe. That's it, a, I don't know him, but I don't like him. If I, I did know, know him, I wouldn't like him. You don't. You can't it say was. That. It was. You can't yeah. say that. You can't. Are you that. right? But I don't know. I don't like. 
Like when when my favorite player was Shaquille O'Neal when he was on the Lakers, mm-hmm. I didn't like the Lakers, but I like Shaquille O'Neal. Right. When they won the rings, I was glad my boy won the rings, but I did not like the Lakers. Okay. I don't I don't like Kobe. I don't know why. I ain't like him when he had a fro chewing his gum all hard. <laughs> I didn't like <laughs> trying to chew like Jordan. I, exactly chewing like Jordan. I didn't like him, man. But you know it, I never I, understood I about people make that argument. They say he he swear he Jordan. He want to be Jordan so bad. You want to be the best. Who the fuck am I going to mimic my no, game? No, you want to be better than this. <laughs> Gary Payton? <laughs> but, you yeah, know but, but you know what's crazy? No. A lot of people's going to have that answer. I just don't like Kobe. That's that's a common answer he that's, just gave, though. That's a fucking hating comment. <laughs> it, 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 that's it, hate. It is. And you can say that. I'm, I mean, no, I'm not hating on him. I respect you him. You just admit it. He's good. Okay. He's good. Kobe He's is one of the best players that touched the ball. Top five? Top five oh. guards or top five, top five players. overall? Top five guards, I wouldn't say overall. I would say nah. top five guards. I, I would say, say top overall. five guards. I wouldn't say overall. There's so many great legends that came through the NBA. Okay. So I, I wouldn't, but guards, definitely. Definitely. He probably number one or two. Like, definitely in guards. But it, it it's, I don't know. I don't, I don't like him. So, hey, man. It's, I always, it's, it's just me. Of, it's weird, because, like, when people say, I don't like him, it's like, for what? I don't know. I just don't. But you don't have a reason. But you hear the same like thing somebody. about LeBron James. A lot of people are like, I don't I, like LeBron I, I James. I posed that same question Why? to them. Well, I just don't like him. That don't make don't no know. sense. Like it's, you, you, it, you hate a man for playing basketball. Is, a it way. doesn't make sense. It doesn't make but sense I, at all. I don't know why. He, he know it, know. it doesn't make sense. It's just in my heart. I don't like. I don't want to. I don't it's, like the motherfucker. It's personal. So I don't go. like that. I don't like him. I just don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna try to like him now that he's retired. What? I'm gonna try to. Right now, matter of fact, I heard he's doing I heard he going into business. I'm, I'm not. I'm not business guy, man. So I, I respect him. He going into business. A black man going into business. You know what? Uh, more power to him. What a way. But he still got to go. But I don't know. It's Kobe or Snoop. Snoop. I ain't, I never liked Snoop. I'm not gonna say I didn't like Snoop. I respect him. But I never listened to his music because it's not my style of music to I listen to. What, he would've... raw when I heard him spit from time to time. Uh-huh. But he was. It was never my type of music. If you West Coast. Ask me this period. question like a couple months ago after I came from that Wizards. Yeah, Snoop you would have been gold first. Exactly. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> he got fucking go. I the only thing that I shit. respect about Snoop is uh, he's a Family Guy. Yeah. He's still he's married to the same woman. Uh, that's she she, that's cause she that's cause she put up with a lot. It, that's true. Does he that's get credit for that? Does he that's, get credit or does she get all the credit? But I mean his his relationship I mean, with his kids. Get some credit. He's a he's a you know he's she a he's left a family him in ninety three man. Like, she could have. She could have. Well, but, hey, she, but well, she didn't, man. Hey. Okay, but when you say he's a family man, he's still married to this one woman. He does not get no credit for that. She could have left him twenty years ago. He could have left her too. She gets. Well, but I'm saying you're giving him the credit for being this good man. That's what we're talking about. He's a good father. We're talking about his wife. He's a good father. Okay, but he's okay. But he said he's still with the same woman. That's her choice, not his. Yes, it's his too. It's his too. He was the one. All right. Yeah, he did it. I understand what you're saying. He did his dirt. He was the one doing the dirt. She wasn't doing nothing. You don't know what the fuck she was doing. Not as much as him. Now, if she wanted to get him back, that's different. But he he's got multiple stories about how they used to do their thing when they was making the chronic. Now you still have his. That was his girl since high school. He has multiple stories about what he did with women from him, from then until now. Yo, he used to make porn. Be honest with you. I heard from an interview. She said in an interview, she said, you know, uh, he could go out, do his thing, and all these girls could have him and we with him and party with him. But at the end of the day, he still come home to me. I'm the wife. And he come home to me. And so, obviously, she was right, she was Atasha. Right. That's that's her ex- <laughs> accepting who he was. Now, she could have been Isn't like. That what we all want? No, no, that's true. Isn't that what the fuck we all want? High five, yeah, bro. Nah, that's true. That's your high five. Nah, bro. I'm not saying saying you want a woman to. Hey, I'm I'm gonna cheat on you, bitch, and you just gonna have to accept it one way or another. Okay, who you are? She just you want to be accepted for who you are. She knows the nigga was living a certain kind of life, and that was cool. She chose to be with him. But don't give Snoop the credit for being with one wife. That was we wasn't talking about her wife. We talking about Snoop. The quad gave the credit, but we was talking about Snoop. We're not gonna say, hey. Shout out to Snoop's wife for staying with him no, while he was cheating I'm all just, those years. What I'm just fuck? saying. He, he was, said, He was okay. bringing up Snoop, talking about his credentials, and saying he's a family man and still with his wife. Then you flipped it. Oh, well, that, that credit he, goes to his wife. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Snoop don't get no credit These for These are him. brothers, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> He gets, he gets what I'm saying. He's just trying to argue. I do. I, okay. You get what I'm saying, okay. right? You over-analytical but anyway, again, man. Between, okay, oh, between... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going, okay, yeah. on a scale of who, who've done more, who's accomplished more, who's... Uh, we never really spend this uh, much time on these topics. Snoop got to go. 
<laughs> he said that with so much dis- discomfort. And Snoop, like Snoop, Snoop got to go. <laughs> On the top go. of the <laughs> list is Pop and Magic Johnson. Uh, on the I top, but uh, you know Snoop got to go. That's not, not. I, I don't started. got nothing against him. He just, you out know, of, he's out of, out of out of everybody. He's the least relevant. Got you. in oh, my right. life anyway. I got you. I got you. Somebody I, on the, somebody on the West shit. Coast. He might be on the top of the list. All right, sure. my good brothers, y'all sure. ready to get into the uh, the reason why we came here? We want to talk about that black market. Is it blackmarket.com? dot com? Yeah, the black market. The black market dot com. Yeah, the b l a c. What is the black market dot com? K e t. And what can people expect to see when they go there? Well, it's it's pretty much a, a directory of black owned businesses. That's all. Point blank. Period. Is a directory of black owned business. We do got. I, I got something else in the works where I'm trying to do this ad network thing. You know, I'm trying to be like Google, I'm trying uh-huh. to do this ad network thing. Um, but at the end of the day. Uh, I was just talking to uh, Donovan earlier about that. Um, uh, now I pretty much I'm at a point where I gotta get trust. You know, us as men, black people, we don't trust each other. Right. And uh, I can I can be all I can come with a good idea all day. Are well, we gonna do this? Are we gonna help do this? But at the end of the day, they're like, "Who are you? Right. I don't I don't know you. You don't have a good track record with us." So right now I'm at a stage where you know I'm just trying to you know gain the trust of my people and let them know that. Um, I'm, I'm out here. And How do you I'm gain trust to trust the people who have a, who doesn't know anything about what you present? And the, the same way you gain a trust of people, uh, I'm sitting right here next to y'all. You got to mm-hmm. talk to them. You got to be in their face. They got to see you out there uh, actually doing stuff for the people. Anybody can say, yeah, I'm pro-black, but what are you doing behind those words? True. Gems. Right. Gems. Right. So basically, would you explain it to me at, the, at Donovan's baby shower? Right was that yeah. when you go to a black website, yeah. and when you scroll down to the page, normally you'll see an advertisement for something that has nothing to do with what's going on, right? Exact, exactly. So, like, and I, I did this too. I went on uh, quite a few uh, black blogs, like um, uh, black-owned websites, blogs, whatever. They could be talking about natural hair. They could be talking about fashion. They could be talking about black business. So whatever it is, you know, they their black owned websites and blogs. But when you look at the ads on a the site, there's ads advertising uh things that has nothing to do with us. Right. Um they're advertising uh makeup or other things that's not black owned. So it made no sense to me going to a black owned uh hair care site talking about natural hair and they got advertising talking about uh Jurgen's lotion. It made no sense to me. If you're gonna have a black owned blog, uh, and you're making videos and Promote blogging about, shit. yeah, yeah it, you need to advertise black owned businesses, things that the people coming to your site most naturally is women. So they want, they, they want, uh, uh, Keisha hair, hair care products to be up there or whatever is pertaining to them made by them for them. Mm-hmm. So I came up, so I came up with a way, you know, why can't we have black advertising on these black sites, and that's where an ad network comes in. An uh, ad network is basically like what you see on Google. You see a whole lot of Google ads on different sites and everything. With the black, with the black ads, you pretty much see uh, black-owned businesses advertise on black blogs. So it's and black blogs and black websites. That way, uh, you know, we talk about circulating a dollar in a community and supporting black people in the community. But over the internet. Uh, a lot of the income coming from a black blog is coming from Google. No, no disrespect to them. They do anything. True. But at the end of the day, it's taking money out of our pocket. It's leading black people that's going to this site away going from site. a black owned business or a black blog going to somebody else's business. And it's not coming to us. So if I can have a black website that has black ads or it's, 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 it's going to be a revolving circle of recycling dollar over the internet. black ads, ladies and gentlemen, not black ads. ADS. <laughs> ADS, not ASS. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's going to be circulating a black dollar over the internet. And, and I just want to get you straight. I know y'all got a broad audience. You know, just because I'm pro-black doesn't mean I'm anti-white. anti-white. Gems, get my five. Just again. because. Five. Just, high five. Just, high five. There you go. Just because. Yeah. Just because I'm pro-black doesn't mean I'm anti-white. I mean, I love all people. 
No, I love all people. But, but at the end of the day, for at the end of the day, you know, I grew up in Trent, New Jersey. I grew up around Shout us. Out to the town. I'm related to us. I, I, uh, I hang around us. So at the end of the day, I want to see us do better. I want to see my community grow and all the other community grows that's, that's living in poverty, all the black people living in poverty. I want to see us grow and I want to broaden our opportunity and, you know, everything else that comes so along I, with it. How that. long you been working on it? How long I've been working on it? Uh, a year. Oh, a year. It's, it's been a year. And you're the CEO, business. correct? Yeah, I'm, I'm founder, CEO. Oh, that sounds so, great. I like the way yeah. that sounds. I'm sitting next to the CEO of a black-owned company. Gems! I'm sitting I next like to that. the CEO. That does sound good. That sounds dope, right? It does. We got a CEO on our show, and we you're definitely going to take off, and I believe... How many CEOs you know? Good question. Yeah. I had to sit and think about that. How many CEOs you know? But I definitely believe I'm a CEO, that, too. Because we have a big audience <laughs> yeah. all over the United States. Yeah, right? and, and other countries, too. And other countries. And other countries. I wasn't going to say it. You said it. Oh, my God. You said it. <laughs> Any other time you take the chance to brag, now you want to like, I, I was trying humble. to be cool. Now you want to be humble, You man. said it. All right, man. Worldwide, right? And I know for a fact that there's going to be a lot of people that's going to be interested in what you have to talk about. So can you tell them again where they can find you at and how do they apply? Like, what do you actually need? Because a lot of podcast people listen to us, our shows, yeah. right? And I don't know who's actually profiting off of their podcast yet. But if they were to, how could they sign up for your program, your website? And, you know, well, for one, you got to have a black business. Right. Well, but that's what I'm and saying. You, you go to you go to the black dot com and list your black business there. OK. How much is it? Is it, have to, is it like a subscription? Or? It's free. OK. It's free. The black. um, Not black. The ass. Black ass. <laughs> <laughs> the black market. Let, OK. Let me let me get this straight. I don't want to confuse anybody. <clears throat> the black market dot com. T H E B L A C. No K. Don't mm. put a K. M A. R K E T. Did I spell that right? Yes, you did, sir. Dot okay, com. dot com. That is the black market dot com. That is the directory. There is uh just listed black businesses. You want to know, uh, you, you want to buy, let's say you want to buy some black fashion, some clothes, some sneakers. We, we got a lot of black people doing big things. You can go to the black market dot com. You can look under fashion. You can look under cosmetics. And hopefully uh, what you're looking for, you can find uh, any black owned restaurant, mm. uh, T-shirt business, hat business, jeans, I'm business, on the sneaker right business. Now. This shit is pretty cool. Uh, uh, if you if you selling hair care products, if you selling extensions for for the sisters, if you sell, uh, it doesn't even matter what you selling. Now, if you if anything. you are a black owned business, go list your business on a blackmarket.com. Now, black ads is something different. You can sign up there too, but it's something different with the ad network and advertising, and that that's something totally different. That's a different beast. Okay. Yeah, that's that's great, man. I'm, I know for a fact there's going to be some people signing up, a few people signing up to that uh, website. Directory. Yep, that directory right after this. And I didn't know that there wasn't a K in it. No K. B-L-A-C. B-L-A-C. Black. That's how we spell black over here. Power to the people. I mean that's that's dope. Hey, um, no, I, I didn't. I didn't mean to do you that. Didn't mean to do it. Yeah, it was the, already a website. The, yeah, the, 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 with the K, it was already a website. So I was like, you know what? I just take the K off. You know, some people spell it like that anyway. Hey, or, or it was a mistake. It works. <laughs> you know what? But Sometimes it works. the best ideas happen by accident. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, fuck it. Like, it worked. It worked to its, to its full potential. I was just checking it out on my brother's phone. Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't even tell y'all, man. The dude. Who gave y'all like four different names? That's also our brother too. Oh we yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. Though. Jared don't really well Fresco because that's what that's y'all right, call it. Right. Fresco. Right. Say it again. <laughs> Fresco. <laughs> it's my little brother. I don't really like him too much though, so I don't really tell a lot of people. Yeah, that's dope, man. But they got the website popping, man. Y'all need to go check that out if y'all trying to get y'all shit promoted. It's, it's looking good. Yo, that's so. What gave you the idea to start that? I was thinking that too, man. How did that? How did that? Well, tell me. About? I'm watching. Uh, I'm watching a documentary on Netflix. You know, by myself. I don't be Netflix and chilling unless I'm with my wife. Oh, mm, talk. Hey, shout hey, out to the wife, Angel. Hey, man, that bling on that ring is putting the little ding on my eye too, man. I'm telling <laughs> you, I, I, you know, when it hit the light on a certain area and then it catch your eye, that's been happening. Ding. Yeah, yeah. it's like that. Um, so I was watching uh, one of the documentaries and it came across a guy, uh, a doctor, um, 
back in the day, I think it was in the 80s, 70s. No, it was it was earlier than that. It was in the 60s, 50s and 60s. He came up with a, it was called a green book. And it pretty much told black people uh, if they were traveling from north to south or wherever they was traveling at in the U.S., um, where to go, wherever they were welcome. Spots. Because no, not high oh, spots, where, they were, welcome. where okay. they were welcome, hotels they was welcome, and gas stations they was welcome to go to. Because you know back then you know it was segregated, and uh, being black you didn't want to be caught anywhere. So it pretty much told you where to go, where you were welcome to. I actually looked in a book; it was a couple spots in Trenton on there. Mm-hmm. So I, you know, I, on Spring Street uh, and out west. So yeah, I heard Spring I, Spring of Pasig was like the Black Renaissance back in the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it, yeah, yeah. It, in a good er- in the era it was. But that book was my inspiration, and I was like, well, why don't we have that today? And shout out to all the other black directories out there. They're doing their thing. It is some other. It is some others out there doing their thing, but they're not doing what we're doing. But shout out to them. Mm-hmm. But um, I just – that was my inspiration. And I was like, you know what? You know, that's, that's dope. Back in the day, somebody uh, took the time out to research businesses that black people were welcome to go if they were traveling. You know where they can be safe and sound. Mm-hmm. So I, I took that. I said, well, why not? You know, today in 2000, it was 2015 when I started it. Why don't we have a, a website or something where if I'm in uh, North Carolina and I wanna, I wanna eat, but I don't know what's black or I don't know what's black owned, go to the blackmarket.com, uh, put in your area, you know, look up North Carolina, and you have a list and you have a map. It'll show you where to go. Right, the location. So is it is it for now or will it be? Is it just domestic or is it international too? Or whoever has it's a, business It's a couple too? businesses on there, uh, international over mm-hmm. in London and everything. It's yeah, because people are travel and not want to eat the food that they have mm-hmm. in another country. So they yeah. might want to look for a black restaurant where they can get some some, some chicken. I mean, like the white man should ask Jarrell <laughs> when he's doing the taxes. Yeah, I mean, it's it's right now it's more so... <laughs> In the, in the U.S., yeah. but you know, as, as it, it grows, as it, it can be international. Right. There's a couple yeah. couple fashion businesses that's over there in London. You know, brothers and sisters over there doing their thing too because right. we have a large population over there. So I mean, it's that's uh, dope, man. I it's like just that. something I'm pa- yeah. I'm passionate about black business, man. Because I was listening to y'all and it had me thinking. I think it was the last podcast. You know, y'all was talking about spreading the love. Yeah, that was that was the that one was the one before. The one before, okay. Yeah, y'all Sorry was talking about spreading the love, and I know uh, uh, one of y'all asked, you know, what what is the, how do we solve this? You know, uh-huh. how do we fix the the violence in our community? How do we fix everything? And love is probably the number one answer. That was a great answer. I said answer. that. I said that. Exactly. Martin Luther well, King said it, actually. But. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, you know. And we going to let you have that. Exactly. <laughs> but, and my thing, love is love is important, but business is also important, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you look around and just in our city, you know, if you look at all the little uh, bodegas, the little corner stores, they're not owned by us. Right. If you look at the gas stations we go to, they're nope. not owned by us. If you go to the to grocery the, stores, the they're stores. not owned by us. If you look at the house you're renting, it's not owned by us. It's okay Talk for you to it. rent, but it's not owned by us. Most of it is 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 uh, we getting money and it's going out the community. So, mm-hmm. you know, and one thing about it is we're spending a lot of money where we can't get jobs at. So if you if, you have to think about it like this, wherever uh, you're spending your money is where you send your jobs because you, you don't have anything. And since, you know, the the job market is down in the inner city and unemployment is is at a high in inner city, it breeds hopelessness. And when you have a lot of people that's hopeless, it creates violence. It creates despair. Uh, despair. Like, yeah, it it makes people do crazy things because we all four, all four of us got a job. <clears throat> we got families to take care of. We doing our thing. Mm-hmm. But if you took away our job right now and you, you took away um, any other job we was looking for, we searching for a, a couple years to get a job and we still ain't finding nothing or they still closing doors in our face. After a while, you, you know, you're going to say, look, how, you know, maybe I, I sell a little bit of weed or sell, sell whatever, or maybe I got to rob somebody or whatever. I'm going to do what I got to do because I got kids I got to feed. I got right. a girl I got to feed. You know, these, either that, you know, or we about to start selling T-shirts or something. Right. Like, yeah, it's, right. it's, 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 so you got to go it's both gonna ways. Am I going to sell crack or I'm going to sell this T-shirt or I'm going to try to flip something? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I'm, I'm at a hopeless, I'm at a hopeless point. Yeah. 
So black a bit of light. love is good. Love is great. Number one answer. But black business is, is also important because at the end of the day, we like I said, we spend our money where places we ain't really getting jobs. Have you run across the black businesses that was already going like popping already? Hold on, before you answer that, Donovan, what the fuck you got to do with this? What you uh, what you bring it to the table? Social media. Yeah, social media, because I'm I'm always on social media. Uh-huh. And um when he first presented me with the idea, he was like, Yo, we we gonna do this together. I'm the CEO, but you the CEO too and Shout out to Marcus too. He the homie. He the CEO as well. He down in Hampton, Virginia. So on that's okay. that's so my it's brother. all three of us. So it's all three of ours. That's your brother, you said? No, that's not my real brother, but we... we Close enough we, to Yeah, me. exactly. Gotcha. So I'm going to be doing all of the advertising. You know, everything he posts, whatever we talk about, whatever we collaborate on. If it's videos we doing, because he, he speaks as well. So he does videos, record the videos, and I just pump it. Just pump it onto my page. Mm-hmm. So everybody that I, can, that I know on my page can see it, have them share it. You know all that good stuff. So I'm just, I'm just the person that gets it out there. Y'all should make oh, y'all a Twitter page. So speak, speak. What you mean? He's, he's we speak got like, a Twitter page. The Black Market is on Instagram, Twitter, God, and okay. Facebook. Now man. I know. I, I don't plug. really, I don't really rock with Twitter like that. I, I don't know. It never. I can never rock really with Twitter thing. like that. That's why I gave it to Donovan. Yeah. I let that I gave the social media thing to him because I don't rock with Twitter. I could do Instagram and Facebook all day long, but. Twitter, it just it was never my thing. I'm the opposite. I could do Facebook and Twitter all day, but I can't fuck with Facebook all day. I can't fuck with Facebook. Facebook you just said I could annoying. do Facebook and Twitter all I did. day. My you point. mean I Instagram? Meant, I meant Instagram and Twitter. Yeah. Apologies. I can do Instagram and Twitter, but I can't fuck with Facebook like all day. Like Facebook people get on my fucking. So head. you're a CEO too? Donovan. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. I'm sitting next to two. Why you ain't yes, say sir. that? I'm sitting next to two. Because I'm humble. Okay, because I'm humble. That's, no, that's, that's, you can be humble, but don't let people deny you. What's yours, brother? I ain't been denied. I am the CEO I still got it. of the black market. Matter, matter of fact, hold on. You got a card got, with his you name? You got business cards? No, I ain't got no business <laughs> cards. I need to get some. <laughs> I told you this was a black business. I ain't got no business cards, man. Look, this word of mouth right here. Hey, man, but this is how man. we originally used to do. Hey, man, word of number, mouth man, look. at the end of the day. But no, um, Donovan is our, uh, he's the, he's the, what what I say? He was the president of our social uh, media and social marketing. And my boy Marcus is the president of uh, research and development. Oh, what I'm the president of? Other podcasts, man. He's the president man. of research and development. <laughs> like, I mean, slash I'm throwing all these, CEO big, slash throwing all these big titles out there. It sounds real good. But Hold on, now. Nah, I want to play this title right it's now. Just, yeah. We the three amigos, man. That's we all. Just, we just the brotherhood. CEO we going to do this thing together. CEO of exactly. podcast brother slash president of <laughs> tweets. Goddamn. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Nah, it's 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 fun, man. It is fun because I love my people. Not to cut you off, but I know it's fun because when we put up our website, it just I go look at it. I went and checked it out. Is it dope or what, man? I went and checked it out. Dope is legit. I was just on it showing just earlier. I go look at my own website multiple times a day, just like damn. Because you did it right. It was a pride thing. You did it. I put this up. You know how many times I refresh on a blackmarket.com? Right. I do it too. It's just there. because I created that. I do it right. too. It's, it's like, like a, it's it's like a, a feeling, adrenaline man. thing. I have a brand. Exactly, I, man. All, all four of us sitting right here, we have a brand. That's why I always put the Podcast Brothers shirt on. Shout I'm out to us for having a, a goddamn up. brand. Hey. Yeah, shout out to us for having a brand, baby. <laughs> Bitch. We all are down here Jay. have a Bitch. brand. I guess you could say Fresco and I are CEO of the Podcast Brothers. I was for yeah, y'all claim, y'all claim. Claim. Co-founder. I claim say Co-founders. Whatever. And whatever don't, say, and don't say you guess we the CEOs. Nigga, we are the CEOs. Whatever titles we would get. Because don't get me wrong. We're going to start pumping. See, we not selling Y'all both can't be the CEO. There's only one CEO. All right, well, Somebody else got it's another it's title. It's a COO, right? It, it could be the CFO if you financial... Uh, that's the chief financial that officer. I'm the chairman. Or you can be, I mean, the chairman, right, the chairman is the chairman. CEO, <laughs> you man. know, like, it's different. I'm, I'm cool chairman. with that. <laughs> it's different. But, as long but as I got the title, that means the most. Black Even business is important. No but more. pretty soon, we're going to start pumping t-shirts, <laughs> fitted hats, and all that stuff from our website. Bad and that's hats. when we come to exactly. you. Once we start making a business out of it. Most we, death. Okay. I'm putting y'all site up. I'm putting y'all site up on a black market uh, tonight, no, if man, I don't, oh, if, if I don't, if I, for, if I don't forget, matter, of, y'all can do it yourself. I mean, shit. y'all can do it yourself. You can't tell us you about to do it. <laughs> yeah. tell us you gonna do it? You gonna do it? But you go to the site and do it yourself. That's what's so. It's gonna be out there. We are a business. That's why I have it. But with your blessing. But that's how. But that's how you get seen. 
You know what I'm saying? Because then we People, do start selling shit we already know. Because like when you know when you come on and you speak and you let us know where we can find you at, that's what the black market is for. It's like the yellow pages of It's like the yellow page for black business. You go there and throw your black business on there. You wasn't listening to him? He was explaining exactly. that earlier? I they was listening, you. but I was listening to the business part. We are not yet. I was thinking like yes, when he was are. saying business. Now, that went over my head too. I just right. wanted to push it off on you. <laughs> I you heard are. him say business, but I was just thinking we aren't really selling anything y'all but time. y'all are a website yeah, y'all y'all, y'all have a website business, and it's black owned so y'all and can put can it up it, on a on a black market.com you have places which is a physical place you can go you have websites and blogs uh you have uh, the black market is a noun you have, um, you have everything on there yeah, people, places, people places exactly. So now. People places, Ooh, websites, gyms, and bro. Give me that five. <laughs> <laughs> My fellow podcast listeners, you if you have a right website, now, you think they can't see me, but y'all can feel me right now. <laughs> if you have a website, please go to theblackmarket.com and put your pot, put your website up on there. Black on black. No owned. disrespect to nobody else, but. You know. No disrespect to nobody nah, else. Man, Sorry, we, got now. we don't care who got next. Turn God up. damn it. <laughs> we don't care who got black next. Black owned. If you got a website up, put them up there. I'm That's turned right now, man. man. Black. I don't know why, but shout out to that. Yo. So you gonna watch Luke Cage? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, man. No. It's it's yeah, it's but. it's a beautiful thing. I do research. I I, I be looking and man, this dude is I, crazy. I love it, man. He crazy. It could be just a, a Tuesday at three o three in the afternoon. He be like, yo, dumb. I just now added something new to the website. Yo, I got to come by so you can check this out. Yo, he supposed to come in, He'll come through and supposed to talk for like 10 minutes. Yo, it turned to two hours. I'm Jared, like that when you too. saw this yeah. today? When yeah. you saw it today? We was on two hours. He's supposed to just come holler at me just to talk a little bit about, you know, him coming on the show today and just what, you know, what, what the black market is all about. And it literally just turns into... Hours of just basically Colored talking money. about I can say what's building. going on. I can, say, I can say I'm like that because at work, I got two computers, uh, computer screens. Oh, you big time. And I got one with my work on there, and I'm always got my website on the other one. Cause that's Sneaking, your life. though. He that's big, you. He big time. All, for all 10 hours, I am adjusting and moving this, adding that. I just, every day, if I'm not you looking at stop. it, I'm you just continuing working on it. Like, this is. I think he sabotaged it, the website, man, because I tried to go in and do some shit on there just as I did something. <laughs> the, the administration information didn't work. This motherfucker gave me the wrong information. <laughs> So it's, I can't previously uh, log in. <laughs> no. I'm like, but it's, it's, it, it's important. And I was just talking to Donovan about this today. It's important that, you know, we, we, we build each other up and we build, we got to build slowly. We got to build very slowly because at the end of the him. day, at the end of the day, we got to do it brick Wait, by brick. You can't, you can't, yeah, like, you can't, you can't rush the process. Yeah, you got to know. You got to, you got to take your time, and we got to enjoy this thing. I love right. listening to y'all podcast. Appreciate it because man. y'all, it's like, it's like, man, uh, talking with the fellas. That's all it is. Is, is talking with that's the fellas. exactly what and it the was. ladies and the ladies that come on. Yeah, and everything. Shout out to them. That's why this podcast got started. It's like, yo, when we get together, the conversation is crazy. It's like, well, why we not talk about it anyway? Yeah, it's right? like, I'm why saying? not make a brand out it, of it? Exactly. I just don't. I it don't like agreeing with people. Not so it, yeah, it's like going against everything. You're all not the time going to agree with everybody. No, I, I he know he has a great time doing it. I do. So even if I do agree with you, I'll still be like, nah. So do you really not think that that was racist earlier? No, that wasn't. You were just on some bullshit. <laughs> I don't agree. Well, <laughs> you was just you was just being over analytical and sensitive. Okay. Um, real quick. Um, another thing and something I just I, I I'm very passionate about. I was just talking to my partner Donovan about it earlier. Oh, my um, it's important that we all um get on one accord. Um, meaning. I was writing. I was writing a blog. It was like the Ten Commandments uh, to help improving your uh, black community. And one of them, I think, it was like number six, is you know everybody should at least get a group, a family, or a group of friends, uh, and put your money together and start a co-op or an investment group. Mm. Yeah, that's a gem. Because at the end of the day, uh, and I was just telling, I was telling Donovan, it's five of y'all. Uh, I mean, y- y- um, you know, y'all, yeah. mother, y'all, it's five of y'all, whatever. So if y'all all, you know, set some money okay. aside, um, set set a hundred dollars aside a month or, or two hundred dollars aside a month, and at the end of the year, you know, if y'all set around two hundred dollars aside a month, each of y'all, all five of y'all, that's a thousand dollars a month. At the at the end of the year, 
My bad. Uh, that's serious. Chill, oh. serious. Dang, I'm trying to get she just started out the blue. <laughs> trying to get out. <laughs> oh, Terminate, Terminator is real. <laughs> <laughs> now, if y'all all set aside two hundred a month, that's a thousand dollars a month. At the end of the year, that's twelve. That's twelve stacks. I mean, and if y'all start investing that. And not just y'all, any group of friends, any family. At the end of the day, you don't know what you can own. You don't know what that investment is going to turn idea. into. Why would you never think about but that before? Bro. It's just like. Well, Drew was talking about the brand as far but as. But we don't. But as black people, we're not even conditioned stuff. to think like that. Yeah. We're conditioned yeah. to think That's about why I didn't spending. Just go to work. We, we're conditioned to think about spending. Go to work. Instead of. Exactly. Go to work and help somebody else fulfill their dream right. instead of fulfilling mm-hmm. ours. I got two hundred dollars right now. Let's put it in the pot. I ain't got two hundred. I got I got I got four dollars. <laughs> four dollars. It's a start. Four dollars is a start. Though. I mean, start. anything is 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 a start, and you throw it in, and you can invest. Let's say y'all want to, you know, throw it in, and let's say the whole family want to invest in y'all brand. You know, the podcast brothers, y'all all throw that in the pot. Get them t shirts going. Mm. Want to want to get family the tags business, going. Like the get, it's, 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 and then you grow. You want to buy some property, own some property, and trend. Like I said, uh, like probably about ninety percent. Of the property uh, in Trenton is not owned by the person living in there. Facts. So it's just like when you go and it's pub. This is public information. You go on a computer right. and you look up in a county. You see that all the houses in Trenton they're owned by LLCs. And you look at the address of LLCs. It's not the house. Somewhere in fucking that Montana. Exactly. Is in is in other parts of New Jersey yeah. outside of Trenton where right. you live. So it's it's a lot that could be done to you know help our community out. Nothing but gems, man. Yeah, if, the po- if the podcast post. brothers don't do nothing, is we always bring gems to every episode. Gems gems if you don't gems learn gems nothing gems from gems what we gems, do, nigga. listen, laughing is cool. I get that. But you can always take away some vegetables Definitely. from these podcast laughing shows. Laughing is good man. for the soul. Laughing is good, but we always give you that soul food mix Yo, with Yo, if you wasn't so shy, man, you should be a public speaker. Yo, you speak with so much passion. That shit is cool. Yeah, you really do. That's one thing I don't like about hanging with these two people, about my siblings. They always want to call you out. On, listen, but that's calling you out. They're like, you should good. do your poetry. We say, in the back of your neck, sweaty. We saying, Yo, you know, you can do you something I good. Every week, no, no. Say, every week, this guy says, man, if he wasn't so shy, man, if he wasn't so what? The, like, but you said we could be we could be talking about something on the left, and this guy talk about. Why can't you say you? Why can't you just say thank you? Because he said you passionate about speaking. That's a that's a compliment, man. What's wrong with you? Yeah, but he made the so whole. Defensive? But check it though, he made the whole shit seem like I did something wrong, <laughs> my nigga. Wrong, Jay. I complimented this man as my brother. If I'd have said, man, I fucking we hate your bald ass head, <laughs> then that'd have been something different. <laughs> Love you know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't giving no this motherfucker no more compliments. We'll man. see. Everything now. Next week he'll say, huh? You'll make something up. <laughs> he can't even think about <laughs> that. You'll make can't something even. up. I'm just saying, like, yo, I'm your brother. If I, I should be able to. Because uh, with the episode with Keisha, you said I wasn't observant, which is fucking wrong as hell. Because I can observe you. I've known you for fucking 30 years, man. How the fuck can I not know who yeah, you I've are? Known you for 30 years. Bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that's a fact. That's what I mean. So, what, uh, so I know you, nigga. And I can say, hey, if you weren't shy, you would be good at public speaking because you're passionate about the words you say. No, I'm terrible at public speaking. What the fuck did I just say? I'm terrible at that. I tried it. <laughs> That's and look, some people can't speak in front of people, but when they get behind a mic and, and you know in front of a computer, they can say now, whatever they want to say, and that. they can be free. I was just so saying. this this podcast is this outlet. Yeah, but it'll turn it'll it, it, it turn into something else. You won't be behind, <laughs> you'll be behind this mic and and, and in this room for long. You know what I'm saying? You'll, 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 so when we, when, we, see we'll, you, when we get drafted by satellite yet. radio, you know what I'm saying? And, Still gonna be and now we getting streamed online live you while we're recording. You will be seen. You're gonna be seeing you'll your be face, seen. and then it'll be easy. You can just jump right into it. And right then right that's when you baby oil your chest up. See, now see, that's, see, what, that's what I'm see what I mean. You see oh, what I mean? That's when you baby oil your chest up. Man, I don't know. That's a little. Yeah, well, talking about another man with his baby oil on his chest. Listen, listen, ladies. She's like it. buff niggas. This ain't a what, what, Hold on, though, what video LeBron? was that? Maxwell? Well, no, who was it's that? D'Angelo. D'Angelo. This listen, ain't no how. Listen, does ladies it love feel? buff niggas. And ladies also love niggas who can talk poetry. If he do that, 
with a shirt off orally, po- we gonna get mad hits, man. I can't do it. Yeah, I gotta get it. What the fuck? That's true. Somebody gotta po- do it. That's true. Poetry, poetry, po- poetry, poetry yo. do it. You know, what I'm saying? poetry, poetry a buff nigga with an orally it. chest. He works out. Hey man, like I said before, mm-hmm. what you I know work out for? I don't want to see if 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 he was if he had a shirt off with his chest oiled up doing poetry. It's not for you, bro. I'm sorry. It's not for you. Yeah, it ain't for you. It's for a different audience. I want to support him, but I'm gonna be right. I'm be right there in my arms folded. Hey, you fucked up. When that work. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Do it again. You fuck it up. I'll buy the audio. I'll buy the audio. I'll buy the audio. All right, man. And hey. it can't be the album art. Don't don't put the don't don't put it up there. I'm just it listening to y'all. I'll buy the audio. Listen, though. but the thing about it is this is something that the woman in the comments asked for. No, because you oh, brought it up. They <laughs> didn't ask for this. You man. brought it up, man. Oh, yo, Tosh asked what was your workout plan because he said you looking like Luke Cage. I told you. He said that. I told you. He said that. He wanted to know what your workout plan was. I told you. Because you know Tosh trying to get big. Tosh, Tosh is big. Yeah, but he want to get like you. Like Duke Rage? Yeah. Oh, I know what you can do. Right, I know what on. you can do on our website. You can make workout videos. I was thinking Dean oh, could do Dean that. Dean doing that too. I was yeah, thinking Dean, Dean You can make that. workout videos, bro. I was thinking about putting that up there. You know what I'm saying? I was. Yeah, but it's so all So this is how you work your triceps. You feel me? Then you get the camera positioned to where it's right in front of the machine you're working on. <sighs> pump it. <and> you, <sighs> <sighs> you know what I mean? I don't know how this is going to sound. Over the airwaves, man. P90Z. I, mean, I painted the picture. They know what the fuck it sound like. They know the scenario, <laughs> goddamn. If they don't, there's something wrong with hey, them. Hey, man, what a show, man. Episode 19, man. Episode 19. Hold on. I got something. I, I do got to dig a hole. I did in the first. Donovan reminded me of something. So here it goes. Dig a hole. Dig a hole. goddamn self. To the Rutgers football team. Dig a hole. I'll tell you why. I thought you was going to say Buffalo Bills. Bears. No, no, no. Them too, but fuck them. Um, Rutgers football team, if you don't know, if you watch college football, you probably don't keep up with Rutgers, but you probably seen them come across your ESPN alert screen at the bottom about how they just got their ass whooped. Last week, I think it was, they suffered a 78-0 to loss. Yeah, it was terrible. Right? 78, yeah. they put up basketball points in a football game, and they didn't score a single point. So, I go to the Rutgers. Yesterday, I went up to my boy, Craig. He just bought his first house out in Denellen, which is not far from the Rutgers football stadium. So, I go to his crib. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I go to his crib. We go to the game. We tell game. We drink and all that. We chilling. We go to the game. and like, like halfway through the second quarter. And we sit behind the field goal post. And I'm sitting there. And I'm like, this game is ass. I'm sitting there for a whole 10 minutes, and all I keep hearing is, Rutgers, first down. Rutgers, first down. Rutgers, first down. <laughs> but they ain't scoring no fucking touchdowns. <laughs> Why are you so happy over this first down? They're not even scoring. It's irrelevant as hell. I don't know. The game was not enjoyable at all. I've never been to a field or an arena or any type of venue where you have a ticket number and you're, 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 you're row 15, seat Four, right? You you think of actual seats? This is fucking bleachers. <laughs> Why the fuck? We're seat you got to sign seats in bleachers. Where the fuck is seat four on, on the, the bleachers? bleachers. <laughs> what kind of shit is? The- I said, hey yo, I'm looking around as we going down. This- I said, hey yo, these not seats, bro. I think you could just grab one wherever you want to sit because it's fucking bleachers. That's like going to gym class and having an assigned seat, like. I don't. I didn't. I didn't like it. It was uncomfortable. You can't lean back because if you lean it's back, you're gonna hit the, the person who knees is behind, behind you. There's no backrest. It's uncomfortable as hell. And on top of that, y'all suck. Yo, <laughs> dig a fucking hole for yourself, man. For not only being garbage as hell, but having a terrible fucking architect build your fucking oh, stadium. Gosh. <laughs> dig a hole to bury yourself, man. All right, man. Yeah, man. Episode 19 is in the books, man. Hey, find me on Twitter. Handsome Beast eighty three Instagram. You 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 remember my Instagram, my uh, Twitter name? You changed it, so no, I don't remember it. You, Fresco but you Ben did Famous. Uh, it was just like three months ago. Uh, Fresco Ben Famous, B I N Famous. And you can I find us laughing. at Podcast Brothers on Twitter. Um, Handsome Beast eighty three on Instagram. That's about it, man. Um, theblackmarket dot com. Theblackmarket dot com. Go there right now. After this podcast is over, please go there right now. We need to support ourselves, black-owned businesses. Support ourselves and support the people around us who are trying to assist us in making something of ourselves. It's the positive note for the day. And one more thing. 
I know a lot of you will listen to this on SoundCloud. After that, go to iTunes. And leave a review. Leave Share a it. review. Share it with Give your it friends. Give it to your mom. Give it to your pastor. Give Sign- it to your police officer that pulled you over. Give it to your teacher that's tutoring you because you can't read. Give it to everybody. I know you can't read. Who else? Give it to everybody you can, man. I'm telling you, your guidance counselor, your therapist, your psychiatrist, your lunch aide, your dietary workers, spread the love. Signing out <laughs> all four CEOs. Word. Right? Right. Okay. Right, right. we good. We good. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say just to tell them how to do the review on um, iTunes because when we click on the joint to go to, to it on iTunes – I'm all listening to another episode. They go a click. They go a hit. They go a hit. Nah, but when you um when you go to look when you go to look at um iTunes, you 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 can't really click on reviews yeah. to to put one down. So you just got to show them how to get to that and do that because that may be a reason why some people aren't doing reviews because that's the reason why I'm not doing reviews because I can't I don't know where to you did one already I, I did one but if I want to do another one for another episode no, like no, I've no, been no, wanting no. to do you can't review no, no. each episode you, you can't review each episode you gotta do the whole, whole channel yeah. 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 okay so yeah you good I work. Hey man, I, I did a review already. You so, did, yeah, man. Appreciate Shout it, man. Out to Laquan, man, for leaving that review. And all y'all go leave a review. I, I think on I review. I think com. I left a review as the black market. Okay, sure. you know what? I did see that. I did see that. Shout out to the black market. We are the podcast episode brothers. 19. This was episode nineteen. Peace out. Chill. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Fresco, one half for the podcast, brothers. If you like everything you heard in this episode, you can go to our iTunes page by searching the podcast, brothers, and subscribing to our page and getting all the links sent straight to your phone. You can also get in touch with us on our Twitter page, the Podcast Brothers, and you can also email us at mybrawmepodcast at gmail to talk to us personally and get all the information you need. 